y'all, it's Kim, and today I'm going to be doing a topic on far from God, question mark, um, because I know all of us sometimes feel like God is a million miles away from us, but that's not true, because he's like right here. What's the peep? <laughs> Let me start off by saying it is physically impossible to be far away from God, because he is all around you and um, he's omniscient and he is present. Got my bibble. Got me bibble to get some knowledge. I'm so weird. The past few weeks I've been really leaning on this topic because I've been, I felt like I was far from God before but recently I felt like me and him are like this, like he is my homeboy right now and um, I had to discipline myself for a long time to read his word even a maybe once a week like it was a struggle for me to read his word and I don't know why because I love reading <laughs> every time you open the word and every time you enter into prayer you are making Satan weaker and weaker and weaker like y'all we can become an army and just be like boom I looked at the end of this and guess what you lose boy you lose <laughs> ah, ah, y'all I'm getting too into this okay so if you do find yourself far from God and um you're doing all the right things like reading your Bible going to church going to Bible study going to youth group all these things that you're doing right and you still feel like you haven't heard anything from him um, what's your motivation in reading the Bible? Is it to check something off the list? Like, it's the right thing to do, so you gotta do it every night so that you can just say that you did it. Or is it to gain knowledge so that you can seem smarter than everyone <laughs> at your church? Or is it to get to know him better? Is it to really understand what you believe in? and wanting to know him better, you know? Like, this is not just a book of do's and don'ts, you guys. It is his living, breathing word. It is amazing. Y'all, I'm getting my feels right now. This might seem really cheesy, but the closest I have ever felt to God is when I get down on my knees, in prayer. I'll just tell y'all a quick little story. Um, last week or the week before, I was really like digging into his word and something really stuck out and I just kept on reading those couple of verses over and over and over again. And when you find yourself doing that, that's the Holy Spirit like talking to you in those verses. And right after that, I just started praying. I was sitting like right here on my bed. I was just praying and something got to me and I just fell to the floor and I was on my knees and it's just showing like telling God I know that I'm less than you I know that I don't deserve everything I have and that I just need to fall on my knees and praise you y'all you can feel the Lord's presence when you just completely give yourself to him it's amazing and I've never prayed on my knees before without crying like it, it's, it's just it's just what happens and I feel like when I'm in that kind of deep prayer it's hard for me to stop like the Holy Spirit's just guiding my prayer and um, he keeps on putting more things in my head to pray about and I just had to like find a stopping point because I think I prayed for a total at least an hour and 10 minutes. I don't really remember. I just know it's a little bit over an hour of prayer and <laughs> that's pretty crazy. It didn't even feel like an hour because it was just like having a conversation with my best friend and it's amazing. So <laughs> y'all, I'm all up in my feels, okay. I know most people don't seek him. I know most people don't pursue him every day. But let me just tell y'all, he is with you. He is pursuing you every single day and he is seeking your heart 
every single day in hopes to find that you will come to him and run into his arms and y'all when you do that he will embrace you it's amazing oh my gosh um every single breath you take he delights in and you take a lot of breaths and he delights in every single one of those which is pretty crazy to think about because there's like how many people in the world and he does that with everyone so you know he's a pretty big god just saying <laughs> and i know a lot of you are going to start up school soon and i just want to say go in there a part of the lord's army and fight for what you believe in because it is worth it be a disciple don't be afraid to talk about him and share the gospel because it could save a lot of souls <laughs> and they need it so don't be afraid and yeah <laughs> This might be a good thing to add in this video. Um, if you find yourself on your phone a lot, I suggest Tumblr because there's some godly people on there and um, it's pretty cool what you find. Like, you'll find a lot of quotes and encouraging Bible verses if you're not feeling like opening up your Bible, which I encourage you to do because this is better than this. <laughs> just saying even though this, this can be found in this in the app but I suggest this more than this because if you do get on the Bible app and you get a little notification up here like so-and-so like my picture and it's like a really cute boy you're like oh my gosh let me click on that and stop reading my Bible and just like ooh stalk his page no that's why you want to read it in here <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy this video and I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful week, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.